with y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hey girl hey make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and if you are not already make sure you head over to instagram and twitter and follow me at the hair life so guys today i just want to walk you guys through the process of doing a frontal wig on a sewing machine i am not a pro at this just yet but i'm definitely perfecting my craft i'm in a class currently learning how to make sewing machine units and they will be available for purchase really really soon so make sure you are following me on instagram for these updates so i just want to walk you guys through this process look at that hair girl do y'all see this hair though yes sis make sure like i said you are following me for the updates so you want to start off with a wig block head I am using a 21 inch head that is the circumference of my head and obviously there's other measurements that you need to take but like I said I will walk you guys through that at a later date I'm just kind of walking you through the process not so much the details of everything so I'm taking the extra space out of my cap now so I'm going to sew around the area where you see my t-pans at and this is going to make the cap the exact size as my head. All right, so after I take out all that extra space in my cap, I'm gonna go ahead and take a metallic marker. This is the metallic marker by the Walmart brand. So as you can see, I have my frontal placed on my cap where it belongs. And what I'm going to do is make a guideline. So I'm gonna go ahead and outline where my frontal is at. So I will not be sewing anything in that area that is for my frontal, um, for me to sew that back down at the end. Um, in my class we are taught to do the lace last i'm gonna try to do lace first to see if it's a little bit easier i'm um, not saying that this was hard but just to see what techniques work for me better because like i said i am learning as i go and you know you just want to make everything work for you so so now i'm going to go ahead and make my guidelines so you want to start in the back and just go straight across and try not to curve your lines and you want to go all the way up to the top where your frontal portion is and my lines are not the greatest you guys like i'm working on getting some crispy lines but they get the job done So I'm almost done with my guidelines. I'm going to be showing you guys the hair that I'm using today, you guys. I'm so excited to be showing you guys this hair. This is raw Indonesian hair, which will also be available for purchase from me really, really soon. So like I said, girl, you better make sure you are following me on the gram um, for these updates. So this hair is so full, you guys. It is so pretty. It, I bleached a piece of it. It bleached to 613 with one bleaching process, which I'll flash a picture of for you guys so you can see. This hair is bomb. Like when I say bomb, sis, it's bomb. So I am at my sewing machine now and I'm using the Singer Classic. This is the 44S. I will leave a link to it down below. So what I'm gonna start to do before anything else is doubling my tracks. Um, I did go ahead and double my 18 and my 16 and I didn't double my 14 at first just because I didn't know how much room I was going to have left. So you just want to line your tracks up and then you are going to place it up under your presser foot, put your presser foot down and you want to keep your fingers really, really close as you let your tracks slide through the machine. The benefit to doubling your tracks is going to make sure that you have a nice full wig and you will definitely be able to fit more hair on there with doubling your tracks. Um, I have also seen people triple and quadruple tracks. I'm not there yet, but I will learn and I will get there. this is what my track looks like after i've doubled it it's nice and neat i love doubling my tracks it's 
really therapeutic. Like I just am obsessed with my sewing machine. Um, so I have already sewn on my first track. So I'm going to show you guys a few of the tracks. And I'm pretty sure I didn't show the whole entire wig. But I'm just going to show you guys the process of me doing this. So when you first start and end your tracks, you want to make sure that you backstitch a few times. Which you guys will see me doing in just a second. So pretty much what the back stitching is going to do is reinforce the stitch that you've previously made is going to make your wig extra durable. I just love sewing machine wigs. You guys, I will not go back to hand sewing. Even though I'm still learning, me making the wig on the sewing machine is so much faster than me hand sewing a wig. So I will never go back to hand sewing a wig. Like the sewing machine is the best thing to do when wig making is so easy and it's much more durable than a hand sewn wig. Hand sewn wigs can get loose over time um, a lot quicker than a sewing machine wig. So I'm at the end again. I'm just going to go ahead and back stitch and reinforce that stitching. Make sure everything is nice and secure. Um, and then when I get to the end of each track, I like to go ahead and just cut off those strings at the beginning of the end of the track just to keep everything neat and clean i don't want any bunching up or anything so this is what the tracks are looking like so far it's looking nice and neat so like i said everything like my stitching and everything isn't perfect but i'm getting much better it looks way better than my first wig that i did so practice makes perfect and trust me i will get this perfect Okay, so I just continued sewing my tracks all the way up. Once I got to the top on my 14 inch bundle, I did start to single, but I actually could have just gone ahead and doubled the rest of it. But like I said, um, I'm learning my way around everything. So I could have kept doubling, but this is what the inside of my cap looks like versus like the guidelines and everything. So this is the area where I will sew, hand sew my frontal on. Um, a lot of people will go back and reinforce that stitch with the machine i did not do that on this one and i did already go ahead and customize my hairline so i'm just showing you guys what it looks like now that i've sewed my frontal on and then you want to cut that space up under and i did lay my edges down on the the baby hair on the frontal down with nairobi foam i will be doing a updated version of how i customize my frontal because this frontal sis was bomb do y'all see that like Y'all tell me this hair is not popping. I wish I would have gotten a longer frontal, but I can always change it out. This is the finished look of my wig, you guys. I hope this video was helpful. I would definitely be bringing you guys more sewing machine videos. And you guys will definitely be seeing more about my hair really, really soon. So stay tuned, sis. Stay tuned. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Hair Life. And I will see you on my next one. Bye.